how to factory reset a Windows 11 PC or laptop without the password. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fully factory reset any Windows 11 PC or laptop without knowing the pin or password to get into the computer. So we'll completely remove the current account on that laptop, and then we'll have to go through the process of setting it back up. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So the first thing you wanna do is get to where you can log into the laptop and then go down to the power button in the bottom right of the laptop, select it, and we want to hover over restart. Now, before we press restart, we want to select the shift button on the keyboard, hold it down, and then click restart. You want to continue to hold down the shift button during this entire process, and then select restart anyway, if it gives you that option. So go ahead and restart the laptop, continue to hold the shift button, and don't let go of it until you see a blue screen come up. So the laptop's gonna reboot, and then once you see a blue screen with some options, and I'll give you an example of what that looks like, you can let go of the shift key. Now during this time, it is smart to have your laptop hooked up to a power source. Keep holding the shift key. When you see it starting to boot up, continue to hold the shift key, and then you'll see a blue screen that says choose an option, and now we can let go. So once we're here, all we need to do is select troubleshoot, reset this PC, and then we have two different options. We can select keep my files, which will remove all the apps and the settings, but keep your personal files, or you can do a full factory reset by selecting remove everything. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll select remove everything. And keep in mind, you will have to go through the process of resetting up the laptop once you do it. So if you're trying to sell your laptop, this is the way to go. Now you can select cloud download where it'll reinstall Windows through that, but the easiest thing to do is just select local reinstall, so select that. When you get to this screen where it's asking you if you wanna save provisioning packages that let this PC use workplace resources, this laptop is a school or work laptop and you wanna be able to use it to connect to work or school in the future, you could probably select yes to keep those settings intact, but if not, you can select no and you don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna select no. Then after that, the next option is really important if you're trying to sell or get rid of the laptop. If you're keeping it, you're just doing a factory reset because you forgot your password or some other reason, you could probably select just remove my files. But if you're selling it or getting rid of it, I recommend doing a full clean of the drive and that will remove all the data. It won't just tell the drive to delete it, it'll actually write over it so nothing can be recovered later. So I'm just gonna do just remove my files because I'm gonna just set this laptop back up. So I'll select that. And then now all we need to do is select reset. Keep in mind, this is gonna remove all your personal files and accounts from this device any changes you made to the settings, all apps and programs that were installed on the computer, and it's gonna reinstall Windows. So once you're ready, go ahead and select Reset. It'll then go through the process of resetting the PC. It may reboot several times. And again, I do recommend plugging in your laptop during this period, just so it doesn't die while it's reinstalling Windows because then it could cause some major issues. Then you'll be brought to this screen where you'll need to go through the process of setting up the laptop again if you plan on using it. If you're selling it, then you can just turn it off and you're good to go. Keep in mind during the reset process, it will reboot several times. For me, it took about an hour. If you're actually going to clear the drive, it may take a little longer but that's how you factory reset a Windows 11 PC or laptop without the password. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.